We can no longer think of British Columbia or Canada or even North America as a standalone entity. We're part of a global economy today. There's 1.5 million British Columbians that are in that 20 to 45 age group. And we want to tap into their, their understanding and we want to get them engaged in what's coming next. If we aren't as a, the next generation of leaders, if we're not engaging in the institutions of government and, and business and community in a really meaningful way, that social contract that we have in British Columbia is, is going to disintegrate. There's also a shift in to how we're thinking about doing business. Gen Y, Millennials and Gen X view things through a bit of a different lens. The main difference between sort of the, the baby boomer and the Gen X is that we've grown up, um, some of us on the latter end of, of an age of information where everything is at our fingertips and we have access to everything. Everything here is digital now. You can Skype over the internet and video conference. You can talk a lot over the phone. In fact, in our business, a lot of the stuff that we do is sent over by PDFs, by MOV files, through Dropbox. Our generation is also spread out throughout the world, so it's easier for us to engage. All I have to do is look at my LinkedIn or my Facebook and I, I can talk to people all around the world instantaneously. Till now, Gen Xers have felt disengaged and disenfranchised from the public policy process. We've got some big challenges as a, as a cohort or as a, as a group of emerging leaders. We will be living with the decisions that are being made. There's going to be a vacancy and so it's going to be up to leaders in our generation to make sure that they step up to the plate. If people have a vision of the kind of province that they want, it's critical that they speak up and and lend their voice to the debate that's taking place. If I'm a leader in a company today and I have bright talent for the future, I want to nurture and protect it. I don't want to allow it to escape via that brain drain. Ideally, this next generation has to get to a culture of how do we do things. The next generation should really be putting together as policy and, and really setting the stage for the future generations is how do we work together globally while still achieving our values. The fact is, is the Next Leaders Council is open to anyone who wants to be a part of it. It's all about opportunities. I'm excited about the Next Leaders Council because I've always wanted to get involved in policy and discussions that impact British Columbia and Canada and our role in the world. I see that we do have that power. We have that ability to bring forward new ideas and perhaps shape what policy would look like in the future. We need new leaders to step up, to engage, to inform public policy and bring the unique perspective that 20, 30-somethings have in terms of collaboration, global vision and the opportunities and the challenges we've got for British Columbia and Canada and make it happen. The decisions we make today are going to lead to what's next.